the compact crossover BMW X1 of the first generation is built on the basis of the station wagon of the third series E91 and is armed with similar, but slightly modernized components and assemblies. A purely urban SUV is noticeably simpler and cheaper in every sense than the older HC, and this is its advantage. At the same time, the X1 retained all the highlights of the Bavarian cars, the classic layout, good ergonomics, and reckless handling, all this is still highly valued. BMW X1 of the first generation, E84, was created on the platform of the station wagon of the third series, E90. In any case, they had the same wheelbase. However, the second generation car introduced in 2015 under the F48 index was already created on the basis of the UKL one front wheel drive platform, familiar from the Mini Cooper 3, as well as the Grand Tourer and 2 Series active compact vans. The car turned out to be noticeably lighter and shorter than its predecessor, but added 90mm to the wheelbase. Thanks to the transverse arrangement of the engine, there was more space in the cabin, and its finishing materials and equipment became noticeably richer. The base engine was a 2-liter petrol turbo 4 with 192 horsepower. BMW X1 i Generation E84 has become very successful in many markets, including Russia. It has good liquidity in the secondary market. It does not attract the increased attention of hijackers and thieves of spare parts, which other BMWs have noted. The 11 doesn't have as many electronics as the more expensive BMWs, so the list of faults is modest. There is an age-related sort that is typical for many BMWs, the positive battery wire rods laid along the bottom of the body, from the battery located in the trunk to the engine compartment. One of its connections is located near the rear right wheel arch and is actively exposed to dirt and reagents. Because of this, a large voltage drop occurs, which leads, for example, to the appearance of a fault indication on the instrument panel. Due to poor sealing, water and dirt get into the rear left parking sensor. Neither the manufacturer nor the serviceman found a cure for this trouble, so the sensor is simply replaced with a new one, and after a while it also needs to be replaced. Electronics takes into account the duration of operation and its conditions, informing the owner of the need to undergo maintenance. It displays a message on the instrument panel with a list of required operations, this is, for example, changing engine oil and filters. In Russian conditions, the electronic counter does not work correctly and, as a rule, calls for changing the engine oil every 20,000 to 25,000 kilometers. This interval is unreasonably large, in a large city it is better to reduce it to at least 10,000 kilometers. All BMW engines are characterized by high heat load, which also affects the operation of automatic transmissions. Therefore, it is very important to monitor the condition of the radiators, it is impossible to bring the units to overheating, it turns into very serious consequences. It is advisable to flush the radiators every 60,000 kilometers. The lacquer coating is of good quality, resistant to chipping. For all the time, no weak spots with foci of corrosion or zones prone to particularly active sandblasting were noticed. Door lock larvae quickly oxidize and turn sour, especially during the winter period of operation. Lubrication will significantly extend their life. There is also an oxidation of the board in the lock of the driver's door, which is responsible for the operation of the central lock. Most often, because of this, the car does not open and does not lock from the key fob. The N47 series diesel engine is well known for many BMW models. Its force modifications, 204 and 218 horsepower, differ from less power-equipped variants, 177 and 184 horsepower, by the presence of a double turbocharger and the corresponding software. All motors, regardless of recoil, have the same weaknesses. Standard SOAR, low timing chain resource. Since the drive is on the side of the gearbox, chain replacement work is not cheap. And 47 is quite sensitive to overheating. Usually because of this, the sleeves sag. A specific cylinder block is maintainable, but high qualifications are required from the master. Fuel equipment is demanding on the quality of diesel fuel. Expensive nozzles do not tolerate the surrogate well, however, with due attention, they can serve up to 200,000 kilometers. After 100,000 kilometers, the glow plugs in their electronic control unit are handed over. The first symptom is a difficult cold start of the engine in winter. It is recommended to change all the candles in the block at once, so as not to return to the service again. It is important not to delay the repair. When unscrewing a faulty candle with the strong soot, there is a high risk of breaking it off, 
and then you will have to remove the blockhead. At the same run, the rubber damper of the crankshaft pulley cracks. If you do not pay attention to the cracks, it will break and the pulley will fall off. In the worst case, the front neck of the crankshaft will collapse in this case, and it will also have to be changed. The crankcase ventilation unit is replaced much less frequently than similar engines on older BMW models. Diesel turbines last longer than gasoline engines. Typically, a diesel particulate filter lasts at least 200,000 kilometers. When it is clogged, the chances of a successful flush remain. The 2.0 N20 series supercharged gasoline engine comes in two versions, 184 and 245 horsepower. Their hardware is the same, right down to the turbines, the difference is only in the software, which is used by chip tuning enthusiasts. Weak points are typical for Bavarian motors, low resource of the timing chain and phase shifters. However, on the N20, engineers corrected or at least minimized other shortcomings. The Valvetronic system, in the third generation, practically does not bother, only occasionally the motor jams. The crankcase ventilation unit has been improved, it is changed much less frequently than on older gasoline engines. The problem with the lying oil level sensor has been solved, a modified version is installed on the N20. But there were other shortcomings, from relatively harmless to extremely dangerous. From the first group, the limited life of the ignition coils usually die after five years of operation, and the contamination of the fuel injectors, a standard history for direct injection. Among the dangerous ones are serious scuffs on the necks of the camshafts and their beds. Trouble can come after 70,000 kilometers. In some cases, repair of the cylinder head is impractical. The cause of the defect is oil starvation, which occurs due to the fact that the owners miss the moment of a critical decrease in the oil level, as well as due to too long replacement intervals, as a result of which the protected properties deteriorate significantly. A clear sign of oil degradation is tar-like deposits under the valve cover. A less common cause of oil starvation is an open oil pump circuit after 70,000 kilometers. According to servicemen, an increased load leads to premature wear of the chain. After all, the oil pump is combined with a block of balancer shafts. In addition, when this chain wears out, a considerable amount of metal chips enter the oil system, and the turbine does not bother for a long time. Usually it runs longer than the motor itself. The atmospheric gasoline engine 2.0 of the N46 series, 150 horsepower, is capricious, despite the lightweight category. It is structurally prone to excessive oil consumption and this situation is exacerbated by many weaknesses. Due to damage to the rubber diaphragm of the crankcase ventilation valve, lubricant actively enters the intake tract, the car smokes like a steam locomotive. In addition to about 100,000 kilometers, the valve stem seals dry out and decent volumes of oil go straight into the combustion chamber. The resulting significant deposits cause the valves to close in completely, which makes it difficult to start the engine cold in winter. Timing drive parts have a low resource. The life of the chain directly depends on the driving style and ranges from AO000 to 140,000 kilometers, rarely higher. After 100,000 kilometers, phase shifters, Vano system, are usually given up. Moreover, along with the mechanical wear of the couplings, their control valve becomes clogged with oil deposits, the motor goes into emergency mode. The system for changing the height of the intake valves, Valvetronic which replaces the usual throttle valve, is capricious. Often, after 100,000 kilometers, an expensive electric motor jams due to coking, and often driving through traffic jams provokes an increase in soot on the valves and their incomplete closure. As a result, at idle speed, the engine starts to work unevenly and a malfunction indication lights up. The engine does not have an oil dipstick, and this despite the fact that the level sensor often lies. It turns out that there is a risk of unexpectedly getting into expensive repairs due to oil starvation not detected in time. The six-speed automatic GM6L45 E series is a very reliable unit. Unfortunately, it was installed only on the rear-wheel drive modification of the X1 with the N46 gasoline engine. The only common malfunction of this box, and even then not serious, is a breakdown of the gear selection valve stem in the valve body, reverse gear is lost. The part is available as a separate spare part. Traditionally, mechanical boxes have shown themselves well. Few cars were sold with them, but over the years, rich positive statistics have been collected across the entire BMW model range.
The 6-speed automatic ZF of the 6HP family can be capricious after 100,000 km. The obvious drawback of the box is the rapid wear of the drum bushings. It manifests itself in jerks when shifting gears, up to the transition of the box to emergency mode. The bushings are pressed into the drums and are their plain bearings on the shafts through which oil is supplied under pressure to the clutch packs. When the bushings wear, the gaps increase, oil leaks occur, leading to severe slippage of the discs. As a result, jerks appear in higher gears, from 4th to 6th. The box quickly goes into emergency mode, and this saves it from more serious damage. As a rule, repairs cost about 90,000 rubles. Often after 100,000 kilometers, an unpleasant leak occurs due to a crack in an expensive plastic pan or, if you're lucky, only in its leaky gasket. In addition, the filter tray A cannot be replaced separately. Therefore, the procedure for a complete renewal of the working fluid in the box translates into a tidy sum. Similar difficulties arise when servicing the 8-speed automatic ZF 8HP. 8-speed automatic ZF series 8HP, the most capricious, and even with the serious design flaw. In the planetary gearbox responsible for the operation of the first four gears, all elements are steel, with the exception of the aluminum satellite block, which is subject to significant wear. Over time, its body is machined by the retaining rings of the pins of the gears of the satellites. The products of this wear first of all get into the gearing of other elements of the planetary gear, kill their teeth, and the chips are carried throughout the entire hydraulic system. Further, the satellite housing inevitably falls apart, and this kills the box. The first symptoms of trouble appear after 80,000 kilometers. So early because the weak aluminum link is involved in the operation of the most used gears. In the first eight HP boxes, the satellite rings were ribbed and wore down the block body especially quickly. After switching to rounded, wear has decreased significantly. Machines with such an update are on the restyled 11, and the owners of pre-reform cars should contact the service at the first manifestations of problems in the operation of the box, jerks, shock switches, vibrations, in order to minimize repair costs. In this machine, the friction clutches responsible for the operation of the first three gears quickly burn out. This malfunction has nothing to do with the wear of the satellite housing. Often the clutches have to be changed even before 100,000 kilometers. The atmospheric gasoline engine 3.0 of the N52 series, 218 and 258 horsepower, suffers from the same source as the N46 unit. Added to these are the problems created by the cylinder block made of magnesium alloy, whose mirror is coated with alusyl, aluminum silicon alloy. In theory, alusyl has high wear resistance, but in practice it is actively worn down by abrasive, which is formed from deposits during coking of piston rings. Therefore, it is important to reduce the oil change interval to at least 10,000 km. The high tendency of piston rings to lie is the result of an excessive reduction in their thickness, which is a pernicious tradition of modern engine building. Less rigid rings lose their original geometry faster, coke up and actually stop working. This leads to a significant increase in oil consumption. To kill the front or rear gearbox, you have to try very hard. The servicemen could not recall cases of repair of notes. However, after 100,000 kilometers, a leak in the rear gearbox shank oil seal may occur. The market offers many high-quality non-original spare parts. A good reputation, according to the experience of BMW servicemen and owners, is mainly German substitutes, such as Lemfurter suspension parts and man filters. With body parts, the situation is reversed. Chinese substitutes need to be finished so that they stand on the car, and still there are decent gaps. Therefore, those who want to save money are better off taking used original parts. Usually shock absorbers have to be changed closer to 100,000 km. The front ones start leaking first. By about 80,000 km, the silent blocks of the front levers get tired. They are available as separate parts only for the trailing arms, and the transverse ones will have to be changed as an assembly. The resource of floating silent blocks of the rear wishbones rarely exceeds 80,000 km, which is typical for many BMW models. Fortunately, silent blocks are available as separate parts. Approximately by the same run, ball joints, pressed into a fist, are surrendered, a creak appears, they can also be replaced separately. An unfortunate miscalculation in the design of the X-Drive all-wheel drive transfer case, best known for the second-generation HC is the unhindered entry of moisture into the unit through the breather, which is a simple tube without a valve and even without anthem. 
The abundance of moisture in the oil leads to jerks when the center clutch is actuated, as well as to rapid and severe corrosion of the transfer case elements. The first symptoms of trouble are vibrations and shocks in the transmission when driving in straight sections at low speed, and they can appear after 50,000 kilometers. If you react quickly, the Rizdatka can be saved, repairs cost adequate money. The manufacturer did not upgrade the breather, and the serviceman could not come up with an original solution to the problem. It's a shame, because otherwise the X-Drive transmission is reliable and hassle-free. On the Prior form cars there is a hydraulic steering rack, and on restyled cars, electric, with built-in amplifier components. Both steering gears are highly reliable. Leaks and knocks are a rarity. It is curious that a similar electric rail on the second-generation BMW XC can knock after 100,000 kilometers, and it is very difficult to successfully repair it. An example of the fact that on a lighter car the same node lives much longer. The steering wheel trim peels off too quickly for a premium car. In older BMW models, things are much better in this regard. Most of all complaints are caused by the wear resistance of the Bel Air seat upholstery for cars in cheap trim levels. Savings on interior trim materials are felt. In this regard, X1 is noticeably inferior to older models. On machines older than 4 or 5 years, the contacts on the distributor block located behind the glove box sometimes melt and burn. Repair involves replacing the module and its positive wire. The BMW X1 has average liquidity in the secondary market. The closest competitor is the Audi Q3, and each has its own target audience. The success status did not turn into an abundance of fraudulent ads for X1. The risk of running into a problem car is not higher than the market average. All-wheel drive versions with a diesel engine and a 2.0 petrol turbo engine, 184 horsepower, are best sold. The demand for more powerful modifications is limited, and there are not many of them on the market. Cars with a manual transmission are expected to sell very badly, a connoisseur buyer will have to wait a very long time. The rear-wheel drive version with the non-alternative gasoline aspirated 2.0 is relatively in demand. Largely due to the price, it is noticeably lower than for more powerful machines. We recommend to buy X1 with a diesel engine and in a good configuration. Reasonable price, no more than a million rubles. This modification is distinguished by a good combination of high dynamics and moderate fuel consumption, as well as increased liquidity upon subsequent sale. In addition, a diesel is more reliable than a supercharged 2.0 petrol. When choosing a car from the premium segment, pay special attention to its technical condition and do not skimp on a full diagnostics.